today I'm reading you this book called Art Legends Alphabet. Inside this book, they show an artist for every letter in the alphabet with a fun illustration. The book is by Beck Finier. And the words are by Robin Finer. A is for Andy Warhol. This renegade turned high art on its head and carved out a place for popular culture in art galleries. His legendary screen prints of iconic images like Marilyn Monroe and Campbell's soup cans defined a new genre known as pop art. B is for Jean Michael Basquiat. Emerging from New York's punk scene in the 1970s, this graffiti artist brought the grit of the streets to the 80s high art scene. His collage styled paintings with African Caribbean influences were like the hip hop of visual art. C is for Claude Monet. This legend of 19th century French Impressionism captured natural light in the landscape like no other artist of his time. You can almost feel the heat coming from his famous paintings of haystacks in the field. D is for Salvador Dali, one of the most prolific surrealists of the 20th century. This boundary pushing legend was a skilled all rounder. From clocks melting in the sun to distorted faces suspended in the landscape, his work is like a twisted dream. E is for Edvard Munch. This groundbreaking Norwegian painter visualized human emotional states, then turned them into evocative paintings. His most iconic work, The Scream, is so well known that it has become everyone's go to emoji for, oh no! Free is for Frida Kahlo, well recognized by her floral headpieces and legendary monobrow. Kahlo's self portraits depicted her Mexican heritage as well as her struggles with a physical disability. She inspirationally once said, Feet, what do I need you for when I have wings to fly? G is for Vincent van Gogh. This tortured 19th century artist transferred his emotions onto canvas in thick, layered brushstrokes. His painting of a blue midnight sky covered in swirling yellow stars inspired the pop song Starry Starry Night. H is for Henri Matisse. Considered the greatest colorist of the 20th century, Matisse used blocks of pure color as the basis for his bold, expressive paintings. As an Impressionist, he wanted his pieces to convey the light, joyousness of springtime. I is for Robert Indiana. Often confused for a pop artist, this minimalist painter and sculptor transformed everyday objects into eye-catching works of art. His love series, where the letters of the word love are stacked, is so legendary it has been celebrated on a postage stamp. J is for Jackson Pollock. This trailblazing abstract impressionist didn't so much paint his canvases as hurl and drip and splash color onto them. An American modernist legend, he threw out the rule book and the standard paintbrush with it. K is for Gustav Klimt. His flattened shimmering patterns were considered too scandalous for early 20th century Viennese society. But his most famous painting, The Kiss, is now one of his high art's most mainstream images. L is for Roy Lichtenstein. Taking his cues from pop culture's graphics and comic artists, Lichtenstein was the first American pop artist to gain widespread attention. His iconic image and word bubble style paintings were the internet memes of their time. M is for Michelangelo. From the mural of the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel to his iconic marbled sculpture of David, this legendary master of the Italian Renaissance was a creative genius. His emotive renderings of biblical scenes are still as popular today. N is for Norman Rockwell. This iconic author, painter, and illustrator depicted the American dream. 
and warm, affectionate images. Featured mainly in the Saturday Evening Post magazine, his colorful representations of American small town life are truly legendary. O is for Georgia O'Keeffe. From a stylized New York skyline to a beautifully magnified flower, this American modernist worked with simplicity to capture the power of objects, big and small. Her iconic watercolor blue, too, captures the scroll-shaped neck of her violin she played. P is for Pablo Picasso, the most influential artist of the early 20th century. This legend took conventional form and rearranged it to pioneer cubism. His talent moves easily from the melancholic portraits of his famous blue period to the furious protest of his war mural, Guarnica. Q is for Mark Quinn. If pushing boundaries is an essential element of artistic vision, then this British contemporary visual artist fits the profile. A sculptor, painter, and installationist, Quinn famously used his own blood to create his self-portrait series, Self. R is for Mark Rothko, one of the most legendary New York school painters. This Latvian-born artist's works range from figurative to abstract. His paintings use soft, rectangular forms on a shimmer of color to convey the spiritual, philosophical, and mythical. S is for Cindy Sherman. Born into the pictures generation of the mid-20th century, this legend sought to use photography not as a mirror to society, but as a critical reflection. Her iconic and carefully curated snapshots explore the effects of mass media on modern life. T is for Tracy Emin, often referred to as the bad girl of British art. This conceptual artist uses her own emotional history and often her own body to create drawings, videos, and installation that explore her personal demons. U is for Maurice Utrillo. This French bohemian painter was often one of the pioneers of the School of Paris, an experimental group of artists formed post-World War I. Utrillo's iconic paintings of Parisian street scenes are still mimicked by street artists today. V is for Leonardo da Vinci. Autonomous, inventor, writer, painter, and sculptor, da Vinci was the original Renaissance man. He changed the way we see the human body with his Vitruvian man sketch, and his Mona Lisa still intrigues with her enigmatic smile. W is for Wassily Kandinsky. This legend of abstract modern art inspired generations of young artists with his ability to express emotion through color and form. His vibrant compositions explode across the canvas like a fierce piece of music. X is for Alexander Calder. This 20th century artist redefined sculpture by making his suspended pieces move through space using motorized elements and floating mobile forms. His monumental sculptures have transformed public spaces in major cities all over the world. Y is for Yayoi Kusama. Using her mental illness as inspiration for her paintings, sculptures, installations, and photography, this legendary conceptual artist has become one of the most unique and famous contemporary artists of her time. Z is for Larry Zox. Working in painting and printmaking, this abstract expressionist created graphic artworks that balance color and form perfectly. From flat geometric blocks to broad brush strokes of color, his work is lyrical and bold all at once. And that's it for this book of Art Legends Alphabet. I hope you really liked it, artists, and you were inspired by what you saw, and you go and research some of the artists in this book. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye!